Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today with part, I think it is part 11 of the Parabellum campaign with the Armenian or Arani Empire. And uh, here we are, um, we do have our enemies up the hill and um, they do will receive reinforcements so it will be interesting to see where they're going to come from. I thought for this battle let's try and do something different and let um, uh, have our pikes more the flanks while our Cutly Axemen are in the center. I have no idea where the enemy is going to come from, except from the fact that um, we did see um, them from that side. Of course, we're going to have a little bit of a hill disadvantage, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And again, uh, the lovely look of the forces of Armenia marching towards to beat their uh, fall. Of course, as always. Anyway, uh, when we engage, I will be back. Well, oh, well, well, we are being fully, and I mean, I mean, fully attacked. Let's retreat. Loose. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you can see them, right? This horse, I just could have routed me so easily, actually. We have to be careful there, because I already see them coming. Pull back! Whoa! Pull back! Oh, they're gonna get so smacked. Charge them all. Oof. Right. I'm trying to get those skirmishes because those skirmishes can be really difficult if we. Pull back once again. Are you in the formation? No, you certainly not. Let's hope you still will be able to get in that. Yeah, we just have to take it, to be honest. Mm. And we just have to kill off at least most of their horse archers. Oof, these guys are going to get... They're not really getting information, so... That's not going to help them. And see if the pikes are holding the line fine enough. Yeah, they just have an overwhelming advantage right now in cavalry, but it's really not good for us to be honest. And it uh, is certainly a little bit hammering our own position. <laughs> mm. 
these guys possibly will get routed soon. Yeah, over here we're really having a problem. Actually, I should actually go out with these calf and try and uh, route off a lot of these ones. Because right now it is just a bit over the top, I would say. Did you get killed? No, he's taken. Uh, come, Ravering, come on. Really? Oh, that was a really <laughs> devastating charge. Oof. No. Oh, no. Alright, uh, Mew against those. Alright, so we actually did win this battle. Although this close. What you mostly need is like our archer like firing. Actually we have to march now because these guys are just doing so much damage. That's also actually that is also the main problem because all of these horse archers are doing so much freaking damage though It's certainly been a bloody battle though to be sure it's not um, not been a favor run to be sure yeah Oof, this has certainly been a bloody battle. But you said they they miss mostly the missile advance really was doing damage towards us. <laughs> Lucky though it should be a little bit more easy when we're like fighting against the forces of Come on elephant. Really? I had you not all running? I'm pretty sure I did, but I guess not. Certainly a bloody battle. They did survive though, so I suppose that's good. <laughs> they survived. Oh no, they didn't survive. They My god, they didn't rout. They had three units left. Base morale. Three on. What? <laughs> okay, that is really interesting. I did not expect that. Well done though. Huh. Oof. All right. All right, let's fast forward a little bit because this battle has certainly been interesting considering what's happened in it. I think. Like, oh yeah, it's really only the generals, you know, is still uh, alive. <sighs> Pretty sure I had you on running, but guess not. Really, I only the general is still living. <laughs> 
Yeah, and a couple other years who just didn't route. <clears throat> Things though, it's not really worth. Uh, if you can still catch them, please do that. All right, Jesus, you got a go. Eh. Yes, he got some kills in the end. I'm not sure if you did. Very annoying that the cavalry just is not um, is not dying. Most annoying. Yeah, I'm not even going to uh, move anymore. Come on, run already. Yeah, it is actually really only that unit that's remaining. Kinda annoying to be honest. Yeah, this is actually the only unit. Yeah, these guys won't route because of like a sample of a really big buff. Well, when this unit is dead I will be back. I'm just also surprised like how how shitty my archers like are firing. Oh my god, that is smart. Are you kidding me? Oh no, now you're going to get some shots. I'm going to still try to charge, but... Well, there we go. Perfect. Let's go to the campaign map. There we go. We killed the king. That might be the king. Arcasis. And also a lot of their other armies. So. And we lost as well, though, to be honest. So. Certainly wasn't a pretty, a pretty battle. On either side, to be honest. Hmm. There's not really anything that we can recruit. Oh well, that happens. Uh, Royal Guard. Uh, let's go with that. Actually. Uh, right. I also did a couple of turns. Uh, I think two turns without all of you. And I actually conquered this one. There wasn't really any battle. Um, they left actually their army really away. And um, now we were actually able to, to finally destroy said faction. Hopefully. Yeah. No need for fighting that battle to be honest. That is not too difficult. Let's go and kill the captors as well. And we will now go towards other places. We also will go down over here. Well, no, you actually will stay there to help defend it. Unfortunately, you have Rebellion, but we'll deal with that in the next turn. And then we're going to move down here and take that. Um, eh, not agriculture. Let's go with that one, actually. And then we'll... Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for some extra library bonus. You're still moving forward. And we also have the Gulf the Navy, that's really close. Dual Settlement and Arabia is ours. Um, thing is though, like, um, with Persia taking that, there is no real worry for us to actually move forward and take this. Uh, to be perfectly honest, so it's certainly an option. Uh... Yeah, I don't really see the point in not doing it. Because there's okay, these guys are just going to take that, and that means this is all protected from future expansion. Jeez. Sediment building to a really low degree. Actually, one of them can get kept. Uh, it's also been built up. Perfect. And we have got this army that is now able to recruit. Perfect. That should be fine. And you will be moving down, and then we'll take that. Perfect. Uh, anything else? Not really. I think we're just going to do an end turn, and we'll see what happens. Well, there we go. We have cultural understanding. Ah, let's go for some nice extra 
And we also completed our objectives. I think uh, Persia took that settlement, so that's not too bad. And we ourselves are making some good money. So this means we now have this one. Oh, look at that. We already had that done. Maybe it should be different to fact you don't really have really done that. Huh, didn't expect that to be honest. But that's good. Vendi Vici Vidi. Okay, my soul I conquered. And then we need Egypticus. I mean not really have really we don't have a military alliance with you. Oh you still have uh, not taking back control. Interesting. Ah well we could launch an expedition upon that at some point, but who knows. Uh, I guess yeah, is there really any point not to move on? Uh Cotti opposed, I guess. Uh, one of those ones, one of those. That one. Alright, let's go and let's move forward because there's not really much point not doing it. You will be there in the next turn, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Uh, very good. And our main arm is here on our border. It has now already a better uh, army to defend it itself. You are going to march down. You will take out said rebels. Thank you very much. At least. Very good. And. New army. Uh, which Amarta will it be? The sixth, I think. Or the. Yeah, it will be the sixth Amarta. We have to Google and. Good. Uh huh. And this army as well. It would be annoying if we couldn't take these out to be honest, but I guess we don't really have much to us if we don't get there in time. Yeah, I still need to re-get some replenishment because if you just go in there I and mean, get attacked by somebody else, that uh, wouldn't be too great, to be honest. Uh, let's upgrade that one. And that one as well. Yeah, that's fine. And the thing is, I also really want this settlement because that will allow me to get, basically get trade routes. Right now, if we have this one, we should and we take all of these. We also like would have trade routes. So, but this one is kind of important to connect our empire because if Batava gets this, we basically are broken off with our empire. So, doesn't do great. With capturing this, we should have Indian trade routes in a historical standpoint and not. If you do a little bit of role play, we have the trade route India under control. Cyprus is going to try and uh, take the settlement, I think. And we are going to build a. I think a. Uh, Royal Inspector with the Cotier Post. I think that's a good one. Alright, and I think that's all that we have to do for now. So let's do an turn once more. Well, there we go. Mission successful. Infamy, etc. etc. Alright, good. Uh, we should be able now to go after them. I think that's the last sediment of path here. I think so. Parfia is going to get, is going to get, is going to get died. He's going to die very soon, I would guess. Unless they have some rails, but I do think that is their last settlement. Yeah, 
path here is a totally, totally stamped. <laughs> and the great conqueror, uh, Sharik Kalisari. My god, what a name! <laughs> oh god, faction has been destroyed. Perfect. Well done. And we also got our Satchery actually doing a reasonably job of uh, defending our territory. I expect actually the Elite the Bacteria to be more of a hassle, but they would have been a little bit more in their help, but not really. For now, it has been a good uh, campaign so far in that regard, not really too much. I think it would make sense to make like a harbor here to, to get the trade in from India sort of low in that regard. Now we have like two more settlements of Argosia, unless they are willing to get I peace. Nope, to they are totally not in that regard. My master extends my most welcome to you and your honorable people. And then we have one more settlement to conquer in Arabia together. Only two more. Mascot. And uh, let's go and take it. The clear the wall. And uh, with all our multitude of allies, he will take the settlement without any difficulty. And it will occupy. The thing is though, there is no real point on sending in the Shah. I think what we're going to do with the Shah is we're going to take down the Horn of Africa, this part. This is part of Africa, Ethiopia, with the Shah's army. And the navy, because navy is not, not really viable anymore. There are rumors about that in your the shadows of forgotten places, your political rivals arrive at a meeting. Who knows what they've been discussed. Meet with them. Meet with them. Let's go and meet them. Let's do that. Very good. That's the capture of this uh, direct province. Uh, do we now have to complete any of these? Yeah. We actually have to. Ah. No. Oh, we also done. No. Yes. Very good. Very well. Let's take a look. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait a second. All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll be back in a sort of a little interruption. We are not just, oh, we're just not able to get there. I guess we'll do that in the next turn then. Now we have taken all of Arabia. Thing is, though, we'll also be able to actually complete um, uh, this one as well. Scythia and Egypticus. Yeah, we also have almost done actually. Because we only need to go after the Roxolani. After this, and they are uh, on the border. And they actually also are fighting somebody who they're losing to actually. Huh. Who would that be? Oh, the Mas Mascate, or I think they are fighting. All right. I still level eight, so I could go for another tree in theory. So I guess why not? <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Uh... Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm just going to see what this army is now is going to do. Oh, it's already gone. All right. Mm. Most interesting. Alright, let's end the turn and we'll see what happens. Although we still have a lot of money, so let's just wait a little bit longer. 
Uh, let's build that one over here, I guess, and upgrade the Giz to Gizar Barracks. Over here, we can go for. And uh, let's go for Vestering Arena, why not? And then we'll end turn. Although, we have somebody who still has to be assigned a new skill. And that is the Conqueror of the Parthian Homeland, basically. He done most of it all by himself, so that is certainly not too bad. Well, we have uh, completed the mission, and I think now we have to... Oh, uh, no, no. Okay, no, that's not true. This one is actually possible, though. Well, you now actually have to start helping. Hmm. Screw us, maybe we could get some interesting units, but don't really seem to be the case. Yeah, I'm just going to move out because the. Yeah, the thing is, though, we have a lot of Eastern culture over here, so it is really good in the overall most of the public order, so. That is helping us out a lot. Let's make tools because I'm pretty sure we're actually not making that just yet. Yeah, I'm right now um, taking a look where we have the uh, army of the mascot because we still had like an army that was over here. So my question is, where is that? Or is that faction already destroyed? Oh, it has already been destroyed. Okay, that's good to know. Which means, we are going to put this guy on the ship. And we're going to go towards Ethiopia, because there's no much else that he can go for. I guess we could send him down towards there, but it doesn't really, just really matter so much. Yeah, that one I can keep. This one we convert over to clothing, why not? And uh, we increase this one to a trade settlement, and this one will actually will destroy it because this doesn't really help us too much. Alright, perfect. Um, and over here, there's not much else that we can do, so let's go then turn again and. We'll see what the Bactrians will do in Susa, they might just take it, so we'll have to see what they will do. Alright, let's end the turn. There we go. Um, can we leave? Yeah, can we push forward? Very good. Ah, that's unfortunate for us. We will lose this settlement then to our ally, but isn't too much of a problem, I guess, but it's a bit unfortunate. I guess we're going to push towards Murph. If we can re or liberate somebody, I will actually do that, to be honest. Ah, okay, perfect. Let's do that. And hopefully... We can, um... Get you into satrapy. Yeah, I think you have the same problem, I guess. Or do we have to give you a lot of money? Yeah, okay. So we have to wait again 10 turns before we can do that. Same thing with Persia, I guess. Welcome, friend. Welcome. Oh, yeah, then we'll set to the trade. Any cool units? Not really. Alright, let's move forward. Um, I need anything else that we have to do? Not really, I think. We have shift this. Okay, yeah. Here we do have to do something. And I guess with you, I guess we'll send you to somewhere where we can get some new cavalry because I rather would not have these eastern cavalry. Although they are leveled up, I rather have some better ones. And I think that is in Syria. I'm not sure, but I guess it was in Syria, right? 
No, it is actually in Armenia, so we'll send them to Armenia. Alright, good. Um, this guy will just actually go to raiding and just start raiding their territory. He's not raiding ours, right? No, perfect. And this one is happy as well. And these ones as well. So overall, we're doing good. Our territories are happy. And that's what we want, of course. Uh, anything else that we have to do at the moment? No, not really. And we're also at 30 minutes, so I guess for now, I'll end this episode off. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think I deserve a like, please leave a like. And I hope to see you in the next uh, part of this uh, campaign with the Power Blade mod in Armenia. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.